Yeah. And the, uh, the, the, the run pass split's been a little more even. I think yours was 36 36 uh, last week. I mean, is that so because Le'Veon's got it going? You like the rhythm that you guys are in? I mean, it's a little bit, it's gone away from more pass heavy as it was early in the season. Well, it just means we're balanced, and that's what we've always wanted to be is a balanced offense. Um, when the run's there, we take it. When the pass is there, we do that as well. Do you feel that, uh, I mean, I asked you last week if Le'Veon gets tired, you said no, but I mean, you guys seem to be testing that. Do you see him, does he seem to be getting stronger? Later in games, are you guys getting that physical, that last drive, that you guys, that field goal drive Sunday, was that sort of what you, is that Steeler football, I guess? Uh, well, you can see his, his energy. You know, you can see the, the enthusiasm, the line. I mean, even after a long drive like that, you can just see them like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And, um, you know, in that game, you see him, you know, after he runs it a bunch of times, you know, I was mic'd up that game. And it's it's funny audio because I asked him, I said, you good? You, you still you ready to keep going? Do we need a timeout? What's, but. He doesn't. He just keeps going. That's why I think he's one of the best in the business, you know. But um, being able to, to talk to him and communicate with him like that, and him being honest back with me, is um, you know a great thing. Do you think he's being honest? I mean, the absolutely. Guy... Yeah, he's the best in the business. He's gonna he's gonna tell me what he wants and, and feels, and um, he's honest with all of us. We need him on the field, but um, he also knows he's not part of the team. Does balance mean? Does balance mean is that kind of one to one ratio of pass and run, or the other factors? I think balance is what does what's the defense giving you? What's working for you? Um, you know, when when we're having success, it's because um, Coach Haley's calling good plays. We're executing them. The line's blocking. We're running. We're throwing. Um, that's a balanced offense, in, in my opinion. And big picture, you control your own destiny. How important is that? Well, we always want to just worry about what's going on in the stadium we're in. You know, we don't want to have to look around. We've done that in years past, and, and for us to just go out and take care of our business is important for us. I think they're playing well. Um, you know, we've been able to use DJ and um, Ladarius and Jesse, and I know X has been out a little bit. Hopefully, we'll get him him back. But um, those those formations and sets kind of throw a wrinkle to a defense. You know, do do you line up in big personnel to stop the run because you've got tight ends, or do you put um, nickels nickel or smaller DBs on the field? So um, having the the versatility of our tight ends to be able to um, execute against whatever defense is thrown at us is, is key for us. The fullback run here. game crowd is very excited. They think this marked a departure in, in Todd Haley's strategy. The what part? The fullback crowd. Fullback, okay. <laughs> you know, Rosie it's in there? big in Pittsburgh. Yeah. I know oh, I know it is. I've been here a long time. Uh, you know, or was it just or, a wrinkle? You know, it's 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 a way that, um, you know, I would say it's an end of the game type thing, but we're using Rosie um, even in the beginning of games. Um, you know, we're putting him um, on linebackers, and, and I know that Le'Veon loves running behind Rosie because Rosie brings in another. He's like a lineman out there with his nastiness and his tenacity. Um, he's getting after guys, and it's a lot of fun to see. Um, and we, we can use him in the pass game, too. I know early in the game there's some stuff where we can get him out because he's a very good pass catcher as well. So um, I think it's, it's great just being able to be versatile and, and have multiple guys out there, just like the tight end sets. Having a fullback out there can, can bring different um, – formations and, and options to the game as well. And I heard your quote on your show about um, you think that the likely Super Bowl champion has already lost its last game. What is it about the league this year that makes you think that's the case? No one's done that since you guys in 05. It's gone on a run in December like that. That was a fun year. <laughs> what and Rex Ryan defense, what are the characteristics that you know, made his defenses challenging over the years? Uh, complexity, um, moving guys around, nasty, tough. Um, Throwing different um, secondary coverages at you, blitzes, bringing guys from safeties to linebackers, and then having a good D line, you know, which they obviously have. Ben, what do you attribute the success you've had in your career in playing in bad weather? <laughs> um, I don't know. I, you know, being from not far from from here, a couple hours, and you're used to bad weather playing in the backyard. We played in snow and rain and mud, whatever it was. So I don't know if that's it or just getting lucky. Take pride in that, or do you kind of think, if I, hey, if I'm drafted by a Doom team, I could have 8,000 more yards. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. You know, it's just, it was funny before in the pregame, the Indianapolis game, we were talking. Um, you know, Coach Randy and I were talking about, man, this is nice. No wind, no nothing. But uh, I wouldn't change being here and having the elements. It's, it's fun to play in the snow. I, I, I'm assuming there'll be some snow up there and wind, and it typically is. So uh, it is what it is. Other than being cold, it's pretty fun. I think it's been six years since you've been up there. Do you remember much about the win? It has a reputation for well, preseason last year, right? We're with the preseason. Yeah, uh, not this time of year. But, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> um, yeah, just you know, it's it's 
it's cold. It, it, it's what you watch. You love watching. I grew up, but when Jim Kelly was one of the guys, and watching some of those playoff games they had up there, how just cold and brutal it was. Um, that's just what you expect from Buffalo. Ben, on your radio show yesterday, you also made a plea for the Pirates to keep Andrew McCutcheon. Uh, you feel strongly about that? I do. I just think he's a great person, a great player. Um, I don't know if Neil's listening. He probably doesn't care anyway. But uh, I just think uh, Kutch is a great guy and a great player and someone that uh, is great for the city and the team. You mentioned the cadence yeah, stuff on the road. Do you guys feel like you, you've smoothed some of that out? Um, yeah, I mean, I think so. I mean, obviously it helps. Um, have a pouncy out there, a guy that you're, you're familiar with, and the and the, the timing and all those kind of things. But um, you know, the the more you do it, the, the more you got to use it. We'll expect a very loud crowd, a ruckus crowd, um, up there. That's you know, their fans are very passionate as well. You see a lot of the imprint that Rex has used elsewhere on this Bills team in terms of approaching defense. Yes. Where? All over. Our tight ends. Um, a little bit, you know. I think that there is some um, some role, but I also think that they're they're versatile enough that they can do some multi, do different things, you know. So that it's not like every time the Darius is on the field, he's going deep, or DJ's on the field, he's blocking. You know, we threw a screen DJ the other day. We're trying to do some different things with guys, and each one, like I said, brings something different to the table. But they're all very similar in ways too. Is there a package for Hubbard? Yeah, absolutely, there is. <laughs> even we call him a tight end, too. <laughs> you and the Darius were both saying after the game that you could have had even more opportunities. You know, what, what else can he do? Uh, what, what else can you guys do together to next step? Well, I don't know if it's what more can we do, but just, you know, making the plays that are there. You know, um, I could have hit him on that last play on the third down. I just overthrew him. I was trying to be a little too cautious and, um, you know, just got to make it, put it up there for him to make the play. So that's, that's on me, you know, and... Um, I think some of the combative catches, I know he wants to make those combat catches where there's a guy right on him. And, and he did make the one on the, the big, I think it was the third down play where he had two guys, and that was awesome. Uh, but there just needs to be more consistency on, consistency on my part and his part working together. And that's just, that, that comes from the repetition of working together, and I have all the confidence in the world that it'll continue to grow. The Darius himself has said, you know, I'm not all the way back to where I was with his surgery. How do you find yourself adjusting to, you know, what you thought he was back in and what he's working at? Well, it's, you know, not really knowing, getting to see a guy, just talk to him. I think for me, it's, um, you see the mental side of it. He's very smart and he's talk, he talks a lot to me and asks questions. Um, but they're not questions that you would expect a guy that um, hasn't been around here. They're questions that you expect from a guy that's been here and has been studying and focusing and really understanding what's going on. So um, I, I just see growth every day from him. Have you got an explanation on the Billy thing? Nope. No, Ronald, Billy, no. That's still up in the air. I don't know if that's still going on this week or not, but we'll just have to wait and see. The touchdown pass to Ladarius, was that an example of what you're talking about? I mean, did he go out to fake a block on a screen and then... Yeah, I don't want to give too much of the, of the play away, but yeah, I mean, that was um, um, a called play, no huddle type called play. We saw something from the defense and thought he could get that... Safety Collins is really good safety and was right. biting on some screens. And so he, you know, that's a play I don't... I don't even think he's ran that play, that specific play yet. And so for, for, for me to call it and then him to execute it flawlessly just to me speaks volumes for the work that he's put in mentally to not even get that rep physically, but mentally to be ready to do it and able to do it and be the, the actor, uh, the fake block, and then um, you know make the play. So that that's just awesome on his part. That's the kind of stuff a quarterback needs in his tight end, that trust factor. And, and then sure. you go to, go to him more. There's no doubt. And and there's all I have all the, the trust and faith in the world in him and what he can do and the growth that he has. Like I said, I need to continue to get better to work with him, and we need to get better together. But you see the growth every every week he's gotten, and we've gotten better together. So he's a weapon for us. Yeah.